On Monday, there were hose pipes, ladders and fire crews. Five days later, they'd all been replaced by winches, storage trucks and an army of expert removal men, as 15 of Notre Dame's huge paintings were delicately lifted out of the cathedral's carcass. All hands were on deck, including a much-relieved French culture minister. This morning, the biggest paintings, which were still hanging in the inside of a cathedral, were brought down. These works had been saved from the flames, but hadn't as yet been removed because of safety issues inside the church. All of the works were gifts or had been specially commissioned to hang on the cathedral's hallowed walls, like these iconic maze paintings. Some are as big as three by four metres and most date from the 17th century. Individually, they'd survived wars and revolutions, but over time the collection was split up. In the 1950s, though, a hard-working curator assembled them all back together and displayed them in their rightful home. But that home, of course, was partly destroyed in Monday's blaze. Not one bit of damage has been caused and all the works are in a safe place. What we've been doing today is salvaging these paintings so that the restoration of the cathedral can be done without any of the works getting in the way. The paintings removed on Friday will now be dried out, dusted down and cleaned by professionals and held in secure locations, including the Louvre Museum.